we're going to talk about uh, the guy who's responsible for Ashley's favourite finisher in all of professional wrestling. Scotty Too Hotty. Yeah. First of all, before we even go into this, Ash, do you want to remind everyone why you think the worm is the worst finishing move of all time? <laughs> it takes too long and it's bloody awful. So it never beat anyone. It never, well, it, yeah, but it did. It was iconic, though, hey, wasn't it? No, we're not talking. <laughs> Let's revisit. In, insert <laughs> episode here. Changed my mind. You can't tell. Right, uh, right. Anyway, the news itself. <laughs> So Scotty Too Hot, he's been signed with WWE for some time and he is one of the trainers um, at the Performance Centre. Works very, I think specifically, I think exclusively with NXT. Yeah, I think that's true, yeah, because I saw something about that on Instagram, yeah. He's yeah. definitely an NXT trainer, yeah. And, I, and that's been for at least, I think, a number of years. But um, mm. obviously with all of the huge seismic shifts recently with the NXT brand, yeah. Uh, that it's not the same as it was. So the <laughs> whole <that> right. <laughs> agenda, and there are good things to it, but you know, they're obviously, well, they are tie dye. <laughs> they're not looking for, um, they're not looking for people from the Indies anymore. Even though most of their main guys came from the Indies in the first place. Well, I don't know what all but there the, is that. <laughs> the reasons behind yeah, it right. be. I think they just want to make their own names, what we said before, isn't yeah, it? See, I'm, I, that's one thing I do like, trying to make your own names and Bron Breaker's getting there. But, but, he, but you, need, you need more than one. Yeah, but he's still, but he's a Steiner. I know they don't acknowledge that he's a Steiner. Well, they but do, but they Steiner. never mention he's Rick Steiner's son. But they do Scotty. I was going to say Scotty. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Scott, they do Scotty Scott. Two Steiner. Scotty Two Steiner. Oh, I know he's the best wrestler of all time. Isn't he? <laughs> Big Papa Worm. Um, yeah, they give they give him Scott Steiner stuff. They don't give him Rick Steiner stuff. It's like it's like with Natalia. They don't do um, Jim Nia. They do Bret Hart stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Whether or not that's the reason behind this, I don't know. But Scotty Too Hotty has requested his release, and he made that public. So before it had even been granted, and we've seen that happen in the past, and that's not always uh, worked in their favour. Sometimes it does come back to bite them. Yeah. But, yeah, he's made it public that he requested his release. And the tweet that I think he put out was along the lines of basically saying that he kind of told himself that if he ever felt like one day he wasn't... Um, his head Or his heart wasn't in it anymore... Then he would he would walk away, but it's just it's the timing of it, isn't it? It kind of lines up with all of these, like I say, big changes within NXT. Mm -hmm. So whether or not yeah. it's just he, he he doesn't feel comfortable with it, or he's not, I suppose, happy. I mean, he's not happy, clearly, yeah, because he's requested his release. But well, I'm sure before he was a full time producer, he was a firefighter, so he might miss doing that again. I don't know. It might maybe yeah, it maybe be, he'll yeah. just enjoy his retirement. You never know. Plus. I, I, I don't really see his influence. I wouldn't know what his influence is on NXT. Well, there isn't really an influence, is there? It's just a well, trainer, like, you know how it? some there'd people definitely one hundred percent there'd be an influence. But people always talk about Shawn Michaels. Oh yeah, it's and Shawn what Michaels they learn from Sean as, as the, from the trainers, but not so much him. And, I, and the same kind of goes for um, uh, A Train Albert. Yeah, yeah, he's meant to be the head trainer, but you never, he never gets mentioned about. But no. isn't but that's a good thing though, isn't it? Like it should be that. You know, they, they they work behind the camera, they work behind the scenes, so you shouldn't yeah. really have to. So I think that's a good thing, really. No, and um, when I went to the live event, if they didn't mention that it was um, Hurricane doing to produce it, I wouldn't have. Uh, yeah. I wouldn't have known, but. Stand back. <laughs> well, we had a Hurricane this <laughs> in England, haven't we? <laughs> can't, yeah. No, I don't know. I, I don't see that necessarily as a bad thing. You shouldn't have to know that. Whether or not. Like you say, if it's something that's pulled him away from it, it's just it, the way he kind of worded it, it sounded like it's not necessarily that though, and that it's just that he's just not happy. Mm. Which is a massive shame, really, because Scotty Too Hot is another one of those rare blokes where no one ever seems to have anything bad to say about him. No. Yeah. Like at all. AEW, AEW. <laughs> <laughs> he's literally like, um, uh, I mean. Too Hot Scott is all it is. <laughs> too Hot Scott. What can you say? I mean, it's like Mick Foley, Big E is another one. No one has anything bad to say about him. Brody mm. seemed apparently the same. No. Scotty Too Hot, eh? Like It's a really, really small list of people that like no one just seems to have any issues with. Mm. Um, but yeah, a guy seems like a genuinely good dude. So no matter what he does, return to the ring, I don't know. <laughs> uh, he has worked in, He's worked in these himself. So. Yeah. But like, uh, um, uh, there was a video he released. I'd like to see him have a match with Orange Cassidy. That would be quite insane, actually, yeah. yeah. I did see he released a video in 2000 where him and um, where Master did an indie show. They did run in. And, <laughs> and this is like, this is 2000, like, just before they won the tag titles. And 
Yeah, it was like at their prime. And mm. they weren't able to do one indie show. I think it might have been a local show for them, but... I've, I've seen that. I think it was... He was allowed to do it because it was the the indie that he used to work for before he got big. Yeah. So that's why they let him do it. That's rare. As, that's really rare <laughs> now, isn't it? I don't even yeah. know when the last time that happened was, but... Well, I was going to say the Evolve show, but I don't think that counts because they technically yeah. evolved it. Technically own it, so... Yeah. Any thoughts on where he might end up or what you think, why he, he left? Too Hot Scott is all Lily. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I reckon. <laughs> Too Hot Scott. Is, those, that, that was the meme back in the day. That was more for Impact Wrestling, to be fair. Yeah. Because like, they, they genuinely did that sort of stuff, didn't they? It's like when Sting was in Impact and everyone thought he was going to be called Boardman Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's not, it, it depends. It's up to him. Don't know if he wants to wrestle again, if he wants to produce. Whatever he does, he'll be good at it anyway. Or step away entirely. Yeah, I suppose, yeah. Because he has got kids, hasn't he? He's got grown up kids. Yeah. Well, I mean, from a financial aspect, yeah, I suppose you've got to do something to make sure you keep the money rolling in, but. I think he, I'm sure he's probably got plenty, though, hasn't he? Well, well yeah, you yeah. look at some of the biggest guys, like, you know, again, look at Flair. Like, depends how you, how good you are with your money at the end of the day, doesn't it, that? Yeah, yeah everyone's a Foley. <laughs> well, there you go. But yeah, I don't know. If NXT changes are probably what's caused that or not, but maybe. I'm sure it'll come out. Maybe. I'm sure it'll come out, maybe. I can but, tell you I can tell you someone who they're trying to get to be a producer back for WWE. Who? Kenny Dystra. Really? Yeah. Wow. Apparently trying to get him up to like the main I would have thought he wanted nothing to do with him because he didn't he, he left on really bad terms. Do you remember all this stuff with him and Mickey James yeah. and Cena and everything yeah. there? Yeah. I mean that's two thousand and eight, two thousand nine. Ah, oh, it's mm. going back a while, so I know time heals wounds and everything, but you know, he didn't. He really didn't leave on good terms. He was one of the Spirit Squad, weren't he? Yeah, he was the main yeah. guy. Mm. He was like 20, 20, 21. And it's weird how that works, isn't it? That well, the ones that, well, some of the ones that were in it that weren't the main guys are actually done much better. Dolph Ziggler, <laughs> yeah. literally Ziggler. But then, well, Ziggler's done much better in the sense that he's still with the company. Mm. But in terms of doing anything with him, I, I do really honestly think they dropped the ball with Dolph a lot, but. Again, yeah. you don't know how much of that might be on him, so well, it's, it's tricky. He well, he thinks he's Michael's, doesn't he? So. <laughs> when he won the championship and had a concussion, that probably didn't help, but mm. it shouldn't make a difference, should it? He should go to AEW and t- form a tag team with his brother. Well, he did say he didn't want, he's not interested in AEW, but well, they all say that, that, wouldn't he? <laughs> they all say yeah, that. They say, but I think Ziggler is one of those, though, again, like he's got more clear cut pathways outside of wrestling because he's done a lot of stuff with, like, especially stand up comedy. <laughs> yeah. Well, fair play to the guy, you know, whatever you want. I think that that's that you see this a lot now, like coming off the back of talking about what people might be doing when they leave. It's you see it more more so nowadays, but people setting themselves up for life outside of wrestling. Yeah, and it's probably like the smartest thing that they do, and that's I think that's why a big reason why Twitch is such a huge thing. Yeah, um, and you can make big money out of that as well. Make so much money out of it, and again, like why it probably causes so much friction and turmoil backstage with WWE because yeah. they're they're handcuffed and not allowed to do it without WWE. But not just that, money. not just that, but a lot of them have Patreon as well, don't they? So. Patriot, well, again, I don't, I don't think the WWE guys can. Really? No. Not so much, no. They're it's, really limited on what they can have and what like they can do. It's like before Zinnia Vega got released the first time, but the only fan situation. Well, mm. the, but the Zillina, the, I think the Zelina Vega thing was more because she put out that tweet about... Union. Yeah, Union. Yeah, and that, and that obviously didn't go down very well. But, but now she's a queen, so that matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's all very strange, but yeah. You've got definitely got to set yourself up for a life outside of it, because... This is the trouble, like we talk about these injuries and things happening, like you never know. I know it's kind of bleak, but like you just never know. And if wrestling, if being in the ring is your only source of income, you, you need to have something set up for, for outside of it. So yeah, for sure. Well, I think being a professional wrestler these days isn't even so much now about what you can do in the ring. It's just as much about what your business sense of what you can do outside of it. Yeah. So yeah. Well, Liv Morgan and Bo Dallas have a farm together, I believe. Wow, really? Yeah. Lay together then? Yeah. Oh, God. Wow. No, I didn't know that. No. Well, so, mind you, saying that Lesnar's the same, but yeah. yeah, he makes good money anyway. To be honest, well, yeah, he's looking highly paid, isn't he? He's been brought up on a farm, so it's different, I suppose, isn't it? Crazy. Black, Black and uh, Sequina Vega. Yeah, <laughs> I had to get that out as soon as you said the Queen. I had that in my head, and I've been waiting to get it out. <laughs> so there you go. That's the quip for the evening. <laughs> 